Hey guys, so today I'm doing a really quick and easy tutorial. It's almost painfully easy. It takes me maybe all of a minute, minute and a half to do. Um, but I really, really like the look. I just started doing it like two days ago, so I was excited and I wanted to do a video. Also, this tutorial is really great for people with monolids. I get a lot of questions on tutorials for monolids. Pretty much every tutorial that I do can be adjusted to work for monolids, but this one in particular works really well with monolids because there's nothing that needs to be adjusted, especially since we're not working with any eyeliner or anything like that. It's just shadows and stuff, so. And this is a great tutorial as is to use for monolids as well as people with double eyelids. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you in a little bit. So the first thing I'm going in with is this Tarte Emphasize eyeshadow stick, and it just looks like this. It's a really pretty bronzy brown color. And then I'm going to just take this all over my eyelid and I'm pulling it up a little bit past the crease. You don't have to be too neat with this because we're going to blend it out with our fingers. Now that the color has been applied, I'm just going to blend the edges and bring the color up just slightly with my finger. You can use a brush for this if you want, but I find that using your finger warms the product, of course, and it helps kind of spread it around a little bit better. So that's what it looks like totally blended with my finger. If you wanted to just leave it like that, you totally could and just put on some mascara. But I like to add a little bit more drama, so I'm going to go in with one more product. So for my next step, I'm going to be going with my favorite drugstore palette. This is the Maybelline Natural Smoke Squad, and they have redesigned the packaging, so it looks a little bit different now, but we're going to be going in with this darkest color right here. And I'm just going to be picking up some of that color with a tapered blending brush. And from here, I'm just going to be applying it to my outer corner and also up into the crease. So now I'm just patting that on and blending it out. Um, normally, I don't do my outer corner or crease this dark, but because I'm actually not going to use eyeliner, I like the little bit of added drama. So for any additional blending, I'm actually just going to use my finger. Most of the colors are pretty blended with the brush, but just in case you have a little bit on the edge that you want to clean up, you can go ahead and do that. So for some added drama and to balance it all out, I'm going to take a pencil brush and go back in with that darker color. And I'm just going to take that and pull it along my lower lash line. So believe it or not, that's pretty much the completed look. I'm going to add some mascara and whatnot, but other than that, I'm not going to be doing any eyeliner, and I'm actually not going to highlight my brow bone. Um, I, I mean, you could if you want to, but I kind of like the way it looks so easy and laid back, but really sexy and smoky at the same time, and I don't really notice that adding a highlight really does all that much, except make it look a little bit more made up. So I'm just going to leave it like this and go in and put some mascara on. And the mascara that I'm going to be using today is Benefits They're Real, and I've actually been really enjoying this mascara. And this is what the brush looks like. Normally I'm not a fan of plastic bristle brushes, but this is a nice dry formula, and it actually does really well with my lashes. So if you're just going out casually or you already have nice lashes, you could just leave it like this. If I were just going out running errands or doing whatever I was doing, I would probably only put on mascara, but for the sake of the tutorial, and I think it just looks nicer and more finished for a video, um, I'm going to put some lashes on. And the ones I'm going to be using are from Forever 21, and they're actually very natural looking on. These are one of my favorite pairs. And I'm going to go in with my Revlon Lash Adhesive. And the applicator just looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint that onto the band. And then I'm just going to go ahead and place this lash. You actually don't have a lot of time with this lash glue. It dries really, really, really fast. Alright, sorry I had to pull away for a second. I couldn't get my hand in between the lens and my eye to fix the lashes. But there you go, it just looks like that. And I'm just going to curl them. So when I'm curling my lashes, I'm actually not curling them or pressing hard. I'm just pressing my real lashes and the false ones together to blend them. So that is the finished look. If you wanted to go ahead and put some eyeliner in your tight line, see where you can see that little bit of pink eyelid, you can do that. But since I'm trying to save on time and also have it look a little bit more natural and effortless, I'm not going to do that. But if you wanted to, you can if you would like. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick and easy tutorial. I think this is probably the easiest one I've ever done. Um, if there's anything that you ever wanted to change, of course you can do that. Um, when someone does a tutorial, it's not like an end-all, be-all or paint-by-numbers. It's just to give you sort of inspiration for a look, and then you take it to kind of do your own thing with. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys and that you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later.